when a child goes to school in India, he is taught the phenomenon of a caveman philosophy. Now, what is this caveman philosophy? It's a very interesting phenomenon in which they say the harder you work, the luckier you get. I somehow disagree with this concept. The hardest worker is a rickshaw puller who barely makes $4 a day. It's not how hard you work, it's how smart you work. And that is what communicated in nations like America and Israel. That is called the black hole phenomenon, that if you are passionate about what you believe in, if you are catering to the right amount of market, and if you work hard, then only you will be successful. It's all about working smart. I'm very fascinated by two other countries when it comes to social entrepreneurship. Two countries, to, to, to name uh, uh, Cambodia and Bangladesh. Now, what did Cambodia do? They have encouraged explorative mindset. The government of Com Cambodia has a lot of funds for social entrepreneurship, irrespective of your education. Now, a farmer in Cambodia with no background in education wanted to be a part of the pond fishing industry. So now what he does, he cannot buy a boat. So what he does, he goes to a garbage wreck and buys a lot of bottles of plastic. He amalgamates these bottles to make a boat, and this boat costed him just under $24, and he sells these boats today for $99. Still, almost 50 times cheaper than the conventional boats available. He has started a revolution in terms of social entrepreneurship, and he has helped so many people who want to be a part of this culture. Pond fishing has become a big industry in the Cambodian region. The second country which has deeply influenced me is Bangladesh, our neighbor. A Nobel laureate named as Muhammad Yunus started a massive revolution called microfinance. There was a challenge that people who cannot get loans from bank, they cannot do businesses. So anyone who wanted to do a business, if, so his idea was, if you are a woman, if you need anywhere between 10 to $100, and if you want to start a business, come to me, I'll give you a loan. And that is what started the Grameen Bank the world's largest microfinance organization that has changed the way Bangladesh has been looked 